sources of a river. Just like water poured on a tilted tray flows from the higher end of the tray to the lower end, water flows from highland to lowland. Water flowing from highland to lowland over a long distance is called a river. The route through which a river travels is called the course of the river. The place where a river begins its journey is called its source. The source of some rivers is in the snow mountains. When the snow melts in summers, the water flows down the mountains in small streams. These streams join to form rivers. Such rivers are called snow-fed rivers. What is the difference between a stream and a river? Some rivers depend on the rains for water. Heavy rains in the mountains, hills or plateaus form streams which join to form rivers. Such rivers are called rain-fed rivers. They do not have a single source but start from a particular area. Rivers flow through hills and mountains at a great speed. Over the years, the rivers break the rocks on the mountainside. Huge stones break down and form soil while traveling with the water to the plains. Do you know what forms when a river falls over steep slopes in the hills? A river continues to grow bigger further in its course as other rivers join in. These other rivers are known as tributaries. Some tributaries join the river in the hills while some join it later when the river reaches the plains. The river now flows down the plains slowly as the plains are flat. In the plains, the river is heavy with the mud and sand that it has carried on its journey down the mountains and through the plains. Fine soil brought down the mountains by a river is called silt. During monsoons, water in a river fills beyond its capacity and it overflows its banks causing floods. When the water dries up, the silt is left behind. Silt makes the land fertile, which is good for growing crops. The place where a river ends its journey is called the mouth of a river. From here, the river flows into a lake, sea or ocean. Some rivers carry a lot of silt up to their mouths. The mud makes it hard for the river to flow in one stream, so it breaks into many small rivers to reach the sea or ocean. Over the years, silt gets deposited between the smaller rivers in the mouth of a river. This forms a triangular shape known as a delta. Some rivers do not form a delta and flow into the sea in a continuous stream. The mouth of such a river is called an estuary. River Ganga is a snow-fed river. River Godavari is a rain-fed river. The highest waterfalls in India are the Jog Falls in Karnataka. The Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers form the largest delta in the world called the Sundarbans.